All right, and we are back, folks, another day. Let's see how this mask does in terms of sound quality, which could go well, could go poorly. We'll, we'll find out in a minute. Let's get everything situated here. Okay. Let's see here. Good shit. This one shows up pretty well on camera. Huh. Some of you may be wondering where the fuck this mask is from. That's a really good question. That is a super good question. So for today, we're going to start off with polls, we'll do arena matches, and then we will discuss some of the information I've gleaned from the situation with the arena scandal going on. And also, if you guys are or having trouble hearing me, let me know. Let, let me know in terms of if, like, it's like, hey, I can't hear you, you're wearing this fucking box on your head. Like, you know, give me a heads up. If you're able to hear me okay, let me know as well. But we do have some polls to do. We'll get those knocked out. And then if I have to turn down the music all the way, we can do that too so you can hear me. This thing looks kind of cool. I've never used this one. I've never used this actual prop before. Even back back when I used to do my other thing way, way long ago. What's up, Maji? Let's see here. It's actually pretty sturdy. Huh, I can see myself wearing this out to dinner. I don't know what the wife would think of that. Huh. Yeah, I like this one. This one's cool. Look at your armor. Huh. Ah, uh, shit. Alright, let's see. We've got some pulse in here in a minute. Wait for people to get in. We'll get started. As usual, people are going to be like, what the fuck? Do you have some pulse in here? So we will... We'll start with these. Ah, oh, fuck. You hear me fine? Good, good shit. Okay. Good shit. And we'll start off with polls in a minute. Wait for everybody to get in here. Check a couple more things. Let's see how we fucking do today. Okay. Alright, I'm going to start off with some pulls. Okay, let's do this. Let's fucking do this. We got ten pulls we can do first. I fucking hope we get this. Alright. you all fucking silver god damn it <sighs> fucking mushroom uh, can we get an upgrade not even a fucking gold oh you piece of shit where the fuck did my luck go fucking a This mask is not bringing me any luck at all. Alright, well, let's try our single pull tickets here now. Let's, uh... Let's go through these. Fuck. Well, at least I didn't pay anything for these, I guess. That's the bright side to this. Alright. Another silver. Yeah, okay, let's get this over with. Yeah, awesome. Man of War. Okay. Well, let's go again. Fuck's sakes. Alright. Come on. Let's do it. Another another silver. Well, no dice there. Okay. Well, let's keep going. Two more, and then I've got some other tickets for the other banners, so I'll we'll go through those two, I suppose. Fuck. I feel like I do this just to get beat up on at this point. Great. Alright, last ticket for this. Ah, 
we get a gold? Can we at least get a gold? That'd be nice. Oh no, silver? Oh, oh fuck you. Burning now. Okay, well, let's do our other five tickets for each of the other banners. Let's see if we can have equal disappointment there, because... Fuck. Ugh. Uh, let's do these tickets now. I'm supposed to be frozen. Oh, fuck, it is? Oh, god damn it! Let me fix that. No, it's not. Oh, the gotcha system's lovely. It makes me want to, like, off myself. Let me just fix this real quick. Let's undo the stream. I just noticed this now. Well, okay, let's get that fixed. Oh, there we go. Okay, so for for those of you tuning in, best Vagar FL. Oh, I like Vagar, he's pretty good. I'm more of a rumble person. <sighs> yeah, it's a great system. It's it's a, it's a lovely system. I mean, it makes me want to go back to fucking Vegas and gamble. Oh, we're doing great. Apparently those 14 pulls I did didn't go on camera because I was too busy being depressed. So, there's that. And now, now it's not loading at all. Let me fix this again. Motherfucker. Okay, let's fix this here. I'm determined to get this working. There we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's there's pity systems in this game. No. So, the first 14 pulls didn't even show up on camera. Don't worry. They were all shit anyway. <laughs> they were all absolute shit. Now I'm doing the other banner. Uh, the pity system in this game is awful. Like, it, you have to spend, like, $700 just to get one guaranteed unit. And you realistically need, if you want to utilize the... The full capacity of a unit, you need six copies total, or well, one copy and then five duplicates, so... Yeah. Ever since I stopped spending big money in this game, I've been pretty fucked. Like, I've noticed, like, I, ever since I've dropped off, and they changed the SAM system, I'm just not getting getting stuff anymore. But again, I mean, I'm, I'm doing less tries, so it is what it is. In that regards, I mean, I've got a pretty fucking strong account either way, but it's just, I don't know. I love this game to death, it's, it's fucking fun, but I just don't put in the kind of money I need to to stay competitive. And I also like being married and having a wife, so... So yeah, there, there's that. Oh, oh, what? Let's see, okay, okay, come on. Come on, give me something I don't have, please. Fuck you! Ah, Don't need this piece of shit. This game is just dick riding me ever fucking since Dragor. <sighs> fucking Christ. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, we're not gonna get a tactics game that isn't gotcha based, and it seems like. Well, I've played in this system plenty, so I mean, you know. It's whale or fail, exactly. Well, let's go use our other five tickets for the other banner that we got for free. Can I catch a fucking break? Fuck! When the fuck do I get a fucking break? Alright, let's try here. I need fucking... I need Elena. Yeah, no. Well, yeah, I could whale, and then I end up like fucking Jax, and I end up with the fucking divorce papers and shit. Okay, gold. Armored Scorpion? Can I get a copy of Armored Scorpion, maybe? That would be fucking fantastic. Could, could you do that for me, game? Thank you! Okay! Thank you! Somebody out there! I'll take it! Fuck! Okay. I'll take it. I'll, it's a fucking win. It's a fucking improvement. That's the first fucking improvement I've had since I've been streaming this game. For like a month. <laughs> Fucking Genshin Impact has an impact on your wallet. Let's be honest. Fuck. Alright, we're going to take this mask off now. We had some luck. Oof. This thing is nice, but it is ooh, brutal on the nose. I've got a big nose, but... I actually got this mask custom. Like, I used to do 
do some stuff online a long time ago, very long time ago. And this was one of the props that I never got to actually use or wear while I was on camera. So technically, you guys are the first ones ever seeing me bust out this mask. This thing has been sitting sitting in a closet being unused for like five plus years. So the fact that I finally get to wear it and fuck around with it and use it on camera is, is just great. I'm definitely going to tweak it some more. I feel like I could do something with the eyes. Uh, to some extent, you know, I, I would, wouldn't cosplay a full character, but I'd put on an assortment of cosplay stuff and, and just do my own thing. You know, I'd have different combinations. Heck, I'd even wear my Doflamingo glasses out to dinner sometimes. People liked them. They didn't know what they were from, but... These, these glasses definitely got me a lot of curious people in that regards. So, I, so they were like the one part of anime I could bring around anywhere and people would be like, Oh, these are pretty cool. You know, these are these are different. Well, let's go through the rest of these. Come on, let's see what we got. Can we get something else? Can we get an old man? I mean, we got an armored scorpion, but yeah, no, that, that mask sat there for years. That mask sat in that fucking closet for years, because I kind of retired from what I was doing. I, I stopped doing it for a very, very long time in terms of online, online stuff to that extent. Okay, what do we got? Another silver. Yeah. Silver my fucking balls. Alright, one more. We got one more, and then we're gonna do our arena matches, and we're gonna beat the fuck out of some people so I can take out all my anger on somebody. This rank with the DQ4 event, this game is not kind of those who don't want. Yeah, huh, well, as somebody who's been playing from day one and put in a decent chunk of money beforehand, it's. This is a good game. They do. I will say this about the game. Even the lower end units have some purpose. Like you will, like this one we just got here. This unit actually works in one of the peak fights. Like a C rank unit, this will actually be a good unit because it can't be slept. It does whoosh damage, so it, it comes in play. And I believe it was the Barbatos fight. So it's just little things like that that normally you wouldn't have any sort of value. Just without some thought on the enemy team, so you don't get a surprise. I lost a unit. Hey, this is me we're talking about here, say. When do I use critical thinking? Generally, critical thinking comes in after I've already fucked up and it's too late. We should probably take uh, take uh, some advice from say in that regards, but we'll see. Uh, let's take a look at the teams here for today. So we got an armored scorpion. I'll take it. Queen's guard. Uh... I don't want to fuck with that. Dread Dragon? Dragon Lord's Army? I'm getting a bunch of bots. I'd rather fight people. Mechanized Greens. I mean, I guess I could just dust the fuck out of these guys then. I mean, if that's what we're going to do. Mm. Alright, let's take out the Mechanized Marines. We're gonna fuck these guys up. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make sure my gear is still on. Oh, we have to uh, change equipment. Let's get this sword back on. And let's go ahead and do some arena. My that the uh, arena rank S is awesome. The halberd Saurus have finally gotten him up a bit more, so he's now awakening to you know max 110. And the fact that you can get an S rank unit for free in this game finally is nice. So if you're building up towards arena, some some content creators have told you to go for the armor first. I say fuck them, get the dino. Get the motherfucking dino. The armor is going to give you about maybe 80 HP for a unit. Yeah, that's great. Well, I would get the fucking dinosaur. I'd go for the dino. Dino's not bad. Because you can max out this dino. Will you max him out in a timely manner? Probably not. But you can at least get him to Awakening 1 or Awakening 2 pretty pretty easily within a month or two. And it's a guarantee. There's no gotcha involved. You're, you're just going in and getting that done. Let's take that off there. Let's see. Hmm. How do I want to play this out? 
to move these guys up. They're not going to be able to. You know, there's, there's no, no hitting that, and there's no hitting that there. So that's that is a downside. So two, three. The reel's going to go first. Let's see here. So let's move to here. want to bait these guys out a bit. What's the best way to bait them? Who's got what? Let's see. Abilities. Heavy blow, eight. Twister. What's this guy's abilities? Slashing edge, eight. First slash. Hmm. I don't like that because that's a sacrificial move. Yes, and he's also got the ability for for the, uh, the passive, which is why I have him as a leader, so my Burial can get some real damage in. I think for the first turn, we'll move Burial up to Move him up to the two, and we'll move up the Dino to the three. Let's see how this goes. I'll let him sit here. Unless I can get a good hit on somebody. Nah, I really can't. None of those are worth... Can I do some damage to these guys? I can do some damage. Okay, let's see what happens here. Not a lot, but... Oh, shit. He's able to cast Sizzle. Okay. That doesn't really do much. That's not going to do much. And he's going to move into the back. Fucking beautiful. Okay. So first things first, let's soften all these motherfuckers up. It's done. Now how do I want to take this out? Hmm. Move him back here and let him take these guys downtown. That sounds like a plan. It's two out of the way. Now how do I want to proceed with this? That, that fucking guy's in the back. We're not going to be able to catch him until next turn. I don't like that, but... Yeah, there's no way we're getting to him this turn. He went and kabuffed, so that's going to be a 124. I mean, there's nothing we can do in that regard. Unless somehow our good boy Dino here can just reach him. But at that point... Let's see something. Would he be able to... I mean, he should be able to clean him up. Could he get the other guy, too? That is a gamble. He's got half resistance to Sizz. It's going to be a risk, but I think that's the best play. We have him move up, do his volcanic, and see what happens there. That's going to be the play. It's going to be the only play we have that makes any kind of sense. No, they're not going to be able to do it. They're going to actually leave both of these guys on the table. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Fuck. Oof. And he could bust them again. Alright, well, we'll just walk up and finish this up. That's one match done. 124. I'll take it. I mean, he was just backing into a corner. We tried to risk with with using the dino to take him out, but the sizz resistance and everything, nah, there's no dice. So 124 for the first match. That gives us some tokens. And then once we're done with all this, we're going to go over what I've kind of learned. I've learned a little bit more about the arena scandal. Potentially there's some wonky shit going on. I just wish we had like a video or some sort of proof with it, but there's some there's some shady shit going on, I feel like. And, I don't know. My gut tells me it's just ooh, this guy, BK girl. Max awakened on both of the, on all three. Yeah, there's some fucked up shit going on, and I'll point it out to you guys when we're done. Like, it's We've been consistently talking about it for a couple weeks now, and the same names keep appearing up on... Sable has a... Let's see here. 
99, one awakening. Do I want to fight that fucker? Or do I want to take this fight? That's probably the fight to take. I think that's the fight we're going to take here. Yeah. It's... It's pretty fucked. Always stays back buffing, so it's a trap. Wow. Fucking whack a light. I don't like this setup at all. This setup is bad. This setup is real bad. This looks like it's going to be a fucking nightmare. Oh, if I leave him here, he's going to get clocked. How do I do this? What do I... What's the play here? Because I can't get... I can't get him in range to hit him. And if I don't do anything, he's going to get... Well, they're going to be left alone if I leave them there. This is bad. This is going to turn into a, a mess because they can stay still. Let's see something here. Yeah, we can't put him there. He's going to get hit. No, not. Okay. This is pretty bad. Now let's see what happens. We're going to move him here, leave him like that, leave him there. And for the rest of this, we're going to see if we can move the zone up one. This is not good. We have to play very defensive here. I do not like this at all. I mean, yeah, I can go up and hit this guy, but... Yeah, that's not going to... I don't like this at all. They're gonna stay? They're not gonna move. Oh, great. Fuck. This is bad. They're not gonna move. Fuck. They're gonna make me fucking do something. Oh, that's not good. Ah, oh, fuck. Can I hit them from here or do I not? No, I can't. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. That's maybe your best chance. Fuck. Yeah, this is bad. I'm gonna get fucked here. Oh, now they're moving. Now they're, now they're moving up. Okay. Fuck. Oof. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Okay. What's the play here? What is the play? Ooh, not even Psy Cannon can take him out. That's not good. Well, hold on a second. So what's his HP? His HP is 645. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna... That's the play. We're gonna take this guy down. Oh, wait. I fucked this up because he doesn't have his passive, so he's gonna... Oh, shit. That's right. That's right, I switched out the leadership ability. I'm gonna get fucked here. <sighs> I'm gonna get fucked good. Because normally it's 666 with him as the leader. Fuck. Oh, we are gonna get really fucked here. We are going to get super fucked. I forgot all about that. Fuck. Yeah, it's 613. Now he's gonna hit the last two units. Yeah. Yeah, no. I miscalculated. Because I'm so used to... I'm so used to the 666 damage on the fucking WK. 
from having him as leader. Fuck. I took a hell of a fucking loss there. Fucking A. Shit. Oh, fuck me. This has been a fucking hell of a day. That leadership ability makes a hell of a difference. Yeah, I could have done it the other way and taken out the fucking DL. Well, no, the DL would have fucking killed it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that option's... That option is fucking gone. Oh, I'm so fucking pissed. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of somebody else. Fuck. Oh. Fuck me. I'm so fucking angry. Oh, I just don't even fucking care. I'm just gonna fucking power through this. Fuck me. <sighs> Tried to play it safe and I got fucked in the ass. I totally miscalculated. I'm so used to a certain amount of damage from my... My fucking, what's it called? My WK that I didn't even realize that I can't rely on that number because it doesn't exist in the formation I have set up. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's move him here. Well, what's done is done. What's done is done. I'm gonna move him right here. Now it's gonna snowball because I'm really pissed off, so. Okay, baited him with that. That's good. It's fine. He's gonna come up. Okay. Fucking A. Well, fuck that one up again. This one's good, but fuck. I just don't think sometimes. I just fucking power through. And I probably shouldn't. I probably could do a lot better if I just fucking composed myself and, and did things of a sound mind. But I'm just not that person. <laughs> I'm just not that fucking person. <laughs> fucking smash. Like fucking angry. Ugh, oh, fuck. I am so fucking annoyed. Slow down and chill. Ah, that's not my speed. Fucking Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi. Alright, let's see if we could find... Wait, this guy's got three units? I'm gonna fucking do this for him. And what's up, hon? From all the up bombs, I can tell it's not going well. Oh no, I'm like, fucking fabulous. Like, between uh, all the fucking pulls I did where I didn't get Bizarro again, and then the fucking... I didn't get the Bodkin, I didn't get the fucking Virgin. I mean, not Chase, Kirill is the actual character in the game. I didn't get fucking Elena. Chase the Virgin. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, he calls everybody else a Virgin who doesn't agree with him, but he's like fucking living in his mom's basement or some shit. So I don't fucking know. Well, you, are, you got a weird heart on for him. At this well, point. yeah. No, I don't fucking like the guy. He's fake yeah, as well, fuck. So, what? <laughs> eh. I'm just going to keep shitting on him until he kills himself. He's not going to kill himself. Uh, you haven't seen him then. I've seen some screenshots. He definitely looks like the type would be on the Precious text line. <laughs> Shut up, <my> asshole. <laughs> uh, well, you want to show yourself on camera? I don't know if I'm going to show Yeah. I'm going to show my shirt. What do you think my shirt? Yeah, you can show your shirt. You just have to figure out where the where camera the line goes. is. Yeah, where the line it's is. my head going to show you. It's going to show you. I don't think it well, just put your mask on, then. Like, yeah, here we go. Yeah, there you go. It's so funny. Let's do this properly. So I'm gonna show everybody for prime time here. There you yeah. Go. Oh yeah, you'd be material for Chase. To yeah. Be like. There you go. Well, that's what Chase could say about his body pillow. <sighs> Stop. <laughs> let it go. You need a new. I don't enemy. let anything go. You need, you need a new enemy. We don't have any enemies. This community's fucking tame as shit. Like the closest thing to an enemy that's we have true. is Are is Pack Demon. Kill you yet? Or probably yeah. Now, so it is a pretty tame. Pack Demon's pretty chill. I appreciate chill. that, though, believe me. Because uh, the last we, thing I want to do is have to kill someone who comes to the door. I mean, he's he's pretty tame for an Arab. Right, Pack Demon? What? Oh, God, don't call him an Arab. 
<laughs> I fucking hate you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, good times. Okay. Well, these are just matches that don't count at this point, so we're not worried about losing points or anything. We're gonna try and find these fucking cheaters and shit. Yeah, uh, it sounds about right. See, my wife knows me pretty well. Oh, fuck. Alright, for those of you tuning in, I got my ass kicked in the normal arena matches. Well, we did good on one, we did okay on another, and I really fucking screwed the pooch on the, th the middle one, so that'll be up on YouTube later on. Oh, God, I really screwed that one up. All right, so we are looking to see if we could find these guys because I have a report from somebody on Discord, which I really wish they got some fucking video of it. Or, well, they didn't do a me and they fucking raged after the fact and, and got some hard stats and other stuff, which would have helped us. But they had fought one of these guys and things were really shady as fuck. Things didn't match up when they fought them. And things still don't match up for these guys. Like... Looking at their teams, we have Zero here. Zero has Elena. A two-star fucking Elena. Let's take a look at one of the top-ranking guys. Top 10. Let's look at how their abilities match up for this character. Absolutely fucking plus Zero. Oh, the Flail's also gone now, too, for some reason. Flail's somewhere else. Yeah, we're trying to find them. We are trying to find these guys. No, I didn't get any. Didn't get any Pizarro. I just got disappointed. Did get Norman Scorpion upgrade, though. So, I mean, that's... Yay. But, here is... Same guy as fucking last week. Looking at it here. We've got Mr. Zero. Top one. Always scoring fucking perfects. And you're gonna tell me that they're able to do perfect with a... Two-star Elena... That has no abilities upgraded. Not even the first one. Like, the first book is fucking free. It's like Spider-Man. Everybody gets fucking one. You, you mean to tell me you're, you're the best in the arena, but you can't upgrade your abilities. And again, here we are. Same guy. He's had to change up his team because of the weight limits for the week. And it's just like, Hybird has a fucking inorganic hammer. Like, these are mismatched fucking things here. It just doesn't make sense. Devil Moth has Undead. And you know what this makes me think? How how they're getting these is just... It's, it's a bot. It's a fucking bot. Because if you were to do a recommended gear setup for this team... I, I remember that every time my fucking Devil Moth would end up with that staff. For whatever reason, my Devil Moth would end up with the Undead staff instead of my WK when he was in my team. It's the recommended fucking gear setup. There's no thought involved. It is a fucking bot, true and true. It's just recommended gear. That's how they're getting this. It's a fucking bot. They're doing recommended gear. Because this is what the recommended gear setup would be. It doesn't take into effect, uh, effect the families, family bonuses, anything of that nature. It doesn't take into effect that. Which is why you've got a hybrid with an inorganic. Which is why you've got a devil moth with an undead staff. And then, let's see here. The only one who actually has his thing set up right is the fucking D-Rank Cat. For whatever reason, the D-Rank Cat has has their correct bonus. You mean to tell me that they can't do that for the other two units? Uh, and even here with the staff, like... You would want to put that undead staff on the Bone Baron. Like, why, why is the Bone Baron doesn't make any sense. Like, you'd want to swap these two around. Like, you'd get more more out of it for those two. Makes absolutely no fucking sense. And then when you look at these guys' abilities, it's like his whoosh is plus five, his whoosh is plus six. He knows how to plus up abilities, but he's not doing it for his two-star Elena. There's, there's some shit going on here. And it's like, we're still waiting to hear from from Malcolm what he's going to find out, but here's the fucking truth of the matter is, if this is happening here, this has definitely happened in JP. Now, Delzor, Delzor does not really know too much about it, he hasn't heard much of it, but then again, over there, there's a lot more people, it's, it's a lot harder to point out. Here, this community's pretty small, pretty tight-knit, these people stand the fuck out. 
you know, we've got zero, zero with his setup. Let's take a look and see who else we've got. We've got this master guy who's always making an appearance. Like even this guy, he's got the flail, the attack fucking flail on Bone Baron. Anybody who's played this game, anybody who's who knows a fucking lick about this game, right away, take a look at this setup and fucking cringe. So, it, it's like, you, you, you're telling me here that this guy knows enough to put, put this dagger on Zoma, but he's got a fucking... He's got crack-type potency on a fucking Devil Moth. I mean, Devil Moth had... Does this guy even have a crack-type? He does. He has plus six crackle on his Devil Moth. At least that makes some sense. I'll give him that. He's got plus seven on Swoosh. Well, let's take a look at his, his Zoma. What, what is his skills for the Zoma? He's got better plussed up skills on his Devil Moth than he does on his Zoma. As a top rank arena player. And these are the people we see week in, week out. Perfect scores up there always. You're going to mean to tell me that this is actually this is actually legitimate at this point. Like, you know, a couple of times, week one, week two, we're like, okay, well, you know, who knows? Maybe, maybe you're just getting matched up with different people. Maybe, maybe there's something else going on here. Let's give it some time. Let's see what Malcolm says. Well, it's week in, week out, and we see the same bullshit every week. I mean, fuck, in this situation, why wouldn't you put the fucking flail on, on Ragnar? Or why wouldn't you put the the flail on the fucking Hawkman at that point? You know, it's, it's like it makes no fucking sense. Like, you're going to mean to tell me that you've got the flail, but you don't have the undead staff to put on Bone Baron? Like, you, yeah. there's just, things don't make sense here. Things do not fucking add up at all. And then we look at this guy's abilities, and it's, it's just a weird mismatch again. Like, plus seven for attack attacker, plus four for scrap metal. I'll give him this one, because it's very unlikely. He, Since he is always doing turn twos with how the system is, he would never use that ability to coop the Phoenix Dance. So, I'll give him that one. That, that one makes sense there. But again, it's just like... Hellfire Slash on Bone Baron? Plus eight? Why? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Every time I look at these accounts, I always find something new and upsetting. <sighs> Fuck me. These are fucking... Even if they are bots, I don't know what they're going to do about them. Like... Well, yeah, he's got decent attack because he's got the fucking flail on. <laughs> he's got decent attack because he's got the flail. Well, here's here's the kicker. Here Here's the absolute kicker. Somebody, I'm not going to name names on here because, again, I kind of wish they had some evidence for this. They brought it through. They fought against one of these guys, and they got absolutely decimated. Things did not add up in the fight. Want to use Bone Bear? Yeah, no, you wouldn't. So it's just... Something is going on. Something is absolutely going on because things do not match up here. Things are absolutely fucking weird. Like, they just don't, don't compute whatsoever. And I kind of wish I could see more of this guy's box and see what he's got going on. But that's just too... Two of our top ten guys. Let's look at this Tiger Bull. This one looks like an actual player. Check out Vegeta. Let me look at Vegeta. Like, let's let's take a look. I mean, this this one looks heal staff. I'm not sure why he uses that. Nature, nature agility. Vegeta actually looks like a real player. At least to Patel, he's he's got stuff situated. Vegeta looks legitimate. Cause Swish six or Swish seven. He's got 
whoosh. I mean, he's got some abilities upgraded. He's got cremate up. The only thing here I'd say is he's got the Dragon's Shield, which only gives plus 12 defense. That makes no fucking sense in my opinion. And also the Healing Staff makes no fucking sense in my opinion either. Like, why does he have a Healing Staff on? Like, he could be using the Undead Staff. So, I mean, I mean, Granny's got the Undead Staff here, but instead of this Staff, I mean, he could use, he can use the one for Whoosh. I mean... He has a plus seven swoosh. That would be a better bonus. Yeah. It's just things like that that don't add up. This one looks more legitimate. I'll give him that. This this count here, this one looks way more legitimate. Vegeta definitely looks like he could pass more. Let's look at some of these other guys. Let's look at Volver. Volver plus ten Glacial Doom, plus ten Side Cannon, plus eight Frigid Breath. He's got his weapon off his Ragnar, but he's got plus seven across the board. He's got the liquid metal armor on his KM. He's got plus ten crackle slash. I mean, with the armor, his KM's got a decent amount of HP. I mean, these just seem like teams that... Well, why does he have this here? This doesn't make any sense. He's got plus twelve. He should be using the, the Wiz... The Wiz armor here. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, he's got the skills. Check... Out the Korean two down from zero. Let's look at the Korean two down from zero. Uh, one, two. Okay, let's look at this guy. He's got no weapon on True Lord Dragon form. He's got. Oh, let's look at this guy. He's got plus nine, plus nine. He's got the right armor on. I mean, he forgot to put a weapon on his dude. He's got plus ten that. I mean, his, his skills look... This looks more legitimate. This looks like a more legitimate setup. He bought the Saiyan armor, yeah. Although I don't like the roll on that. That's that's absolute shit. So, um, he at least did me a favor on that one. He was like, oh, yeah. I don't know. There's just people in here who look legitimate, and then there's people in here who it's like, how the fuck did they... How the fuck did they, you know, perfect this again? Like, this is like week in, week out. This isn't like, well, there's somebody new up on the board. The Zero guy is always here. You know, the, the Master is always here to some extent. And, I mean, you've got people who don't even have weapons here, other things. Well, what you could say to some of these is, Okay, well, maybe they fought bots, you know, day one. Some of these people will fizzle out day two, day three, you know. So, it's a generic name. It could be a bot name. Zero, zero definitely, yeah. Let's look at this guy. That guy's weird. I mean, Nightblade, we know, is a legitimate player. This, again, this looks like a legitimate player setup. He's got all agility on his bizarre roll, which I think is the right play, because if it's low agility, he misses. I think that's a good idea. He's got the flail on, on him. He's got another agility claw on True Lord Dragon form to boost up his agility. And then he's got the undead blade on his ghost to give his ghost some, some more health. That's smart. That's very smart. So his agility with that claw is 390 for Pizarro. And he still he still can get some stats out of him. And again, these are like, you're looking at stats here. You know, plus 10, plus 8 skills. Just everything. You don't get to this point by not, by not doing proper maintenance with the account. Like, these are definitely, there's some shady shit going on here. So, I don't know. I, I really don't I really don't know in any regards what the fuck they're gonna do. Are they gonna do anything about this? Are they gonna just let this keep continuing the way it is? Because again, yeah, no, I got well. That's uh, arena. As long as I stay top fifty, I'm okay. But I'm making some pretty poor decisions this week. Like I, I fucked myself today. 
I fucked myself today on Arena, so I'm going to have to really try. What's overall? I'm probably like still top 10, but I keep falling because I don't have the units. How do they do anything about it? Well, they have to fucking tweak the system. I mean, I'm 7th now. Like, I keep falling because, again, I just don't have units. Nib 2nd. Ultimo broke 500k. Lucky bastard. Well, I mean, if it is a programming thing, they could easily adjust that by making these guys not always win. You know, win battles. These are bots. Or they can not admit to anything, let this keep going on, and at some point, people are going to get really fucking upset, and people might stop paying. People might, you know, it, it might have to get to a point where people start doing a lot more pushback. This gets talked about a ton and, and then they have to do something about it, which I don't know what they can do to reverse this, which what would probably happen is they give a p bunch of people some arena tokens as a, an apology. Well, we, we overlooked this in the system. Here's some tokens as compensation for everybody. And then going forward, you know, we're going to remove these bots from the system or we're going to make these bots more susceptible to losing matches or something to that nature, which let's put it here. Nip should be fucking first. Nip should have, you know, rank one. Other people should have rank one. They should not be competing with an automated system. This isn't fucking Bobby Fischer playing fucking chess on a grandmaster level against a fucking robot. This is a fucking game where things should be... It should be players competing against other players. The bot should be there on the lower tier level just to make the game seem a little bit more full. That That's it. You know, I get that they have to have some bots in here to make the game look a little bit full so certain people don't cry that the game's dying and, and, you know, they go off on it for two hours. I get that. But there's some shit going on here really, really needs to be addressed. Like, what, what can they do? I don't know. You know, aside from the compensation and, you know, an apology and just moving forward that this is taken care of, because fucking AI should not be in the top 10. This should be reserved for actual people who spend fucking money and play this game. It should not be going to some fucking bot. Oh, I believe so. That's, I, that's, that's the impression I'm getting here. I, because why would it be, be anything else? Like, these don't seem like players that are actually in the game doing anything. These don't seem like legitimate players. If these were legitimate players... Those skills would be a lot higher. There'd be something more to it. And even if it was from people, well, yeah, that, that could be an angle too. But if that was the case, they'd want to be doing more than just the arena. They'd want to be grooming the accounts to sell them. But again, like Life says, yeah, normally it's, it's populating bots in the game, and they're not normally on top. They're not, you know, they're in the game themselves, and that's it. But I've been checking around some sites, seeing if anybody actually anything surfaced on these regards for that. And I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anybody selling a high-level arena account with lots of tokens to buy certain items. Nothing of that nature surfaced. Heck, even Jax's account, who had decent amount of arena tokens, hasn't surfaced in that regard. So that's what kind of makes me think that that isn't the play. This is in-house. This is what's going on. Now, if there is somebody cheating the arena, I don't know what the fuck they're going to do to fix that. Because that, that's like you said at that point. Well, what can they do? Like, they can add a layer of armor to stop that. And then they'll come back and just do it again next month. That's another fucking issue in itself. That's... That's way worse. You know, although I don't know which one I'd feel better about. Somebody legitimately cheating the system to sell the account or aiming the company themselves having these bots getting fucking first. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know which one I feel better about. <laughs> Fuck it. That's a tough one. That, that's really, if I had to think about that, it's like, okay, the guy trying to make a buck fucking the system or the company trying to fuck the players and, and make the game seem full. Like, you know, the company not... I don't know if it would be a legitimate a legitimate action on their part to slow down progress to people to make sure that they don't get tokens and they have to play more weeks. I don't know. That's, that's a really fucking hard one. I, I just... 
I don't know. And, and I'm still, I want to keep my eyes out and I want to see if we can find one of these cheaters, so to speak, because somebody has came across one. Again, there was no record of it. They didn't, you know, get any actual footage. But I want to get to fight one of these guys and see what the fuck happened. So I'm going to go through a couple of matches, see if we can actually get in touch with one of these these accounts, because from what they said is that, you know, their Zoma went first, they went past their hybrid in the turn order, who or hybrid or whatever, who had, you know, like 100 more agility than them, because hybrid has like 478, Zoma even on a good day, you know, you max out Zoma with agility, I think you can get them like 450, 460 on max awaken with a good claw. So even then, it didn't make sense, and I'm not going to name this person because I know they want to they probably don't want to be mentioned, which is fine. But they were legitimately upset in the Discord, so... We're just going to auto this out, see if we can get through this here and find somebody. But if that's the case, that's... That's pretty fucked. Like, I don't I don't know what the fuck we're going to do at that point. That's it's not a good, good scenario. Yeah, Zoma outsped his Prism Awakened 5. That had 4-something agility, from what he said. Is there an obvious explanation for it? I don't know. I, I really don't know if there's a legitimate explanation for it. Like, I... Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. Again, like, I ho really hope I find him and we get into it because I, I record everything. Like... When we're doing these matches, I record every arena interaction we've done. So it's all all on camera, some way, shape, or form. So if we do do get a hold of them, fully maxed out Pizarro Claws. Well, let's let's test that theory. Okay, let's see here. So we do have a Max Awakened Zoma. So let's take this into account. Let's go to our Max Awakened Zoma here. And let's see what we could do to get him the best possible agility outcome overall. What? Okay, so we have... Does any of these items add any sort of agility? I don't think they do. I don't think they even even could. Let's take a look. That doesn't have any agility. I don't think any of these do. So let's first go to the armors themselves that he can wear, which was that the robe and a couple of the A items. So the robe was one, both robes. So let's take a look here, and let's look at the agility outcome. Or the... Uh, the roll outcome. There's no agility in any of these rolls. So first thing we want to do is we're going to go at this from an actual... We're going to hit this as best we can. We're going to look at every angle. We're going to give him the benefit of the doubt because, you know, why not? We're going to take a look at this alchemy roll now. Is there any agility here? There is. Okay. So the potential best agility roll for this would be 9 agility on this robe, if that were, were to actually happen. So there's 9 agility on the armor. Let's keep that in, into account in the back of our minds. Let's also look at the shield. Let's see if the shield can get any agility. Okay, the shield can't. So, so far, the robe can get 9 agility. Now, that being said, let's go back to Zoma now with that in mind, with that 9 agility. And let's take a look at some other potential things here. So now we have... That 9 agility in the back of our heads. The number to beat is 478. Now, these Pizarro nails, what's the best these nails can get? In terms of agility, we can get to 459 with these. And what's the other one here? What's these? 459. This would also be 459. Okay, so 459. 459. 4, 468, 468, I'd still be a little bit up, you can get close, but close is not over, I agree, let's take a look here, so, technically, if I was to get one more agility roll on this, I could get that for Zoma, so he would have to be wearing a full agility claw setup, to do this. So let's take a look here. And let's go over that. Let's look here at that claw and see. Because I'm curious what the maximum amount of agility for that claw would be if, if he was to get a triple roll. So 20, 
40, 40, 60. So you can get an extra 60 agility, 60, 80 agility on the claw, and then 9 on the, the armor. So, let's take those numbers in. 89 would be the optimal number that he could get at max awakening for agility. That'd be 16. 16 would put us at... No, there'd be no way. There'd be absolutely no... No fucking way that he could get... Nice, Nib. That he could get over that amount. Like, he'd get 9 from the armor and 80 from the claws on a best roll scenario. And my my Zoma here has 384. So 16, that would put us down to 73. No, he'd be off by like five, five agility. He'd be, he'd be missing five agility to beat that. So I don't know where, where he could have gotten up with that agility. So I'm really curious to see to see if we could actually get to fight these guys at some point, catch them in the fucking act. Again, there's not really much we can do in that matter. I mean, you know, we would just have documentation of it, and they couldn't dispute it at that point, but it's it's a needle in a haystack trying to find these guys. It's just not... I mean, I'd have to sit here and fucking fight all day to hopefully get a chance at one of them. And it also hit 1K... I really wish he'd got some screenshots or something like that's like that stuff we kind of needed. I mean, or even getting screenshots of the stats, getting an idea. I mean, because he just didn't think. He gets like me, and I, I fucking entirely, no. When I get fucking heated, I stop thinking. I like check out mentally, and I just go full Kage Smash mode, and it just usually ends poorly for me. It ends really poorly, which is sad for me, but it is what it is. Fuck. Well, at that point, it would mean nothing to them. Think you would have learned by now? Now nah, I don't learn. I really don't. I I don't fucking learn. I just keep doing my same thing and hoping for the that results are gonna change next time. Unless they were trying to get you for something. Realistically, the only thing video would do in that scenario is it would just raise awareness in the community, get people to bitch. And if I've learned one thing is if enough people bitch and have a, a right reason to do so, not some people on here who cry about orbs and gold and resources, but legitimate reasons, it would create backlash and something would have to be done. It's kind of like what happened with Netmarble and... And what was it? Seven Deadly Sins, where people complained about some of the banners and, and some of the treatment. And they fucking, they took a step back. They actually had to, like, walk it back and and do things differently. So that's the only thing we would look look to help, at, you know, and gain at that point would be some sort of awareness. Because, again, right now, I hate to say it, but all we got right now is one guy who had an encounter. It's kind of like Bigfoot. He saw Bigfoot. Okay, well, show me proof. I don't have any proof. You know, it, it sucks. It's, you know, it's one of those, well, I've got an eyewitness account. Well, yeah, that, that's great, but we re really needed something, something concrete to go on. We don't have it, so. Until we, we catch fucking Bigfoot in the act or the Loch Ness Monster or some shit, well, it is what it is. And we'll keep fucking looking. So I assure you, if it happened one time, it is going to happen again at some point. So, we'll just be vigilant. I'll keep doing my arena matches. I'll even keep doing, trying to do a few to fight somebody in the community. Because, again, I like doing that. That's fun. Well, this guy's actually using Rava. That's interesting. Okay, that's cool. I'm not going to help him here, but that's cool. And we'll, we'll see if we run across him. I mean, the, the fucking shitty thing is the guy's name is Master, so he blends in. That is true. That is true. They would fall like like dominoes. Oh yeah, he is tanky. I mean, they lasted a round. Lasted three turns here. Now he's going to get clocked. That's not bad unit for Arena. I mean, definitely took some licks. He's not going to do any damage, but he's definitely going to be a troll.
yeah, there's definitely way better units. I see him more as a free-to-play unit. Something that's like, oh, well, you can fill your roster with him because, you know, you're not really spending any money and you're looking to get a, a good A rank. We're just going to keep looking, though. We're going to keep keep our eyes open to see where this guy fucking pops out. I would, too. Well, Wordle's got some actual use to him, though. Wordle's got some, some real... Real use. And then, also, if you guys aren't following already, feel free to follow. I do put out videos on YouTube. A lot of the YouTube content is mainly just Twitch stuff right now. I may do some other other stuff regarding this as I find out more information. I may do a YouTube exclusive video. Can, kind of condensing things as opposed to, you know, people finding it here in an hour video. And then I also try and get some arena exclusive matches out, too. But be sure to follow Akagi DQT over there. You know, follow me here on Twitter if you haven't. Well, follow me on Twitch if you haven't Twitter. I don't really care about. It. I have Twitter, but I'm not using it too much. How did you do? Which team did you fight? Did you not as match with credit? Well, that's. I mean, hey, that's where how most of these matches go anyway. It's it's like one of those things where where nobody in their right mind is going to want to fight a fucking match like that, a high stakes match with with fucking credit on the line. This is crazy. <laughs> this is like no. I I don't I don't blame you if you don't don't do that. I won but not by much. Well, that's good. It's good that my team put up a good fight. What's the MP like on Halberd Source? Well, let's take a look. I'm still working on his skills right now. Let's see where he's at. Oh, he's going to give me a chance to look. Let me finish out this fight here. Oh, that fight's done. His MP's getting better. I mean, I still got to max awaken him, so it's going to be a minute there. But I'll show you off the 110 stats for him. So this Halbert Source is a rank 6, 110, awakening 2. With I still need to level up his abilities more. They're not the greatest, but let's see here. Let's take a look. And then my ass is fucking hungry as shit. I need to get some Pollo Loco in a bit. My stomach is rumbling. But his MP, we're looking at 299. With his abilities, his Volcanic Flame 776 pop, he can get off four of those. Almost no problems. I don't know. Eight, six, twelve. Yeah, he can almost get off four. Or I think he can get off four of those. He needs, we need to get one more upgrade to get to get him to be able to do four, because I think if we upgrade him to four, let's see here. And what's up? Yeah, if you want to go get the Puyo Loco, that'd be cool. We're gonna go hunt for, uh, well, we're, we're looking go, go bot hunting. Go bot hunting. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, go get Yay! See, my wife is the best. Let's see what that ability would go to if we get him to eight. I think eight would get us four. So we really, that means we really got to get him to plus eight. Would that if that go up here goes to four. Yes, we need to get that to eight. Fuck. Okay. Well, we're going to do some gambling here for a second. Because I'm at the point where I'm not spending as much anymore. So I can take some of these medals and turn them into to A rank books. I don't really. That's what I've been doing with my books lately now. Because I'm, I don't know, I'm not going to be spending a shitload of money. So I'm just been turning them into books and doing it that way. I know some people be like, you're crazy, Kage. Like, yes. Yes, I am crazy. We're going to take three of these books and try. Oh, come on. Give me. Give me eight. Give me eight. Give me. Yes. Yes. Fuck yes. Plus eight. There we go. Now. Now this is where greed sets in. Can we get plus nine with two books? Because I don't know when to quit. Get that down even further. Oh, this is going to be fucking crazy. Oh, we failed the first one. Did we get it on the second? Nah, we fell on both. Okay, well, we got the eight. I'm cool with that. Oh, uh, that guy is mentally ill and handicapped. And I'm also going to put this this way, because there's some there's some talk, there's some speculation here. Here's what, here's what things are. I don't think anybody has spent five figures on this game yet. I think maybe some people are, are getting close. I mean, Alto is probably one of our top spenders. And I think he's... Spent maybe about seven to eight k. I could be wrong. I mean, he could share our number. What's up, Coco? You want to come up, buddy? Come on up. Hey, Coco. What's up, buddy? Want to say hi to everybody? 
No, you don't want to say hi to everybody? All right, you want to lay on my lap? Okay, so lay on my lap. I, I, I don't think anybody's hitting that five, five figure mark yet. And I could use some of what I know about what I've spent, what other people have spent, and that would be my, my price is right assumption. Now, could he have spent more in theory? Yes. Here's the thing about this game, though. This game doesn't really reward you after a certain point. It actually punishes you in a way. Because if you spend a lot of money and you do some of these banners and you get a bunch of S-rank units and they're just tokens, well, you get an orb. One orb, in the grand scheme of things, isn't a pot to piss in at this point. Like, looking at what, what units I have here, I've got two orbs in reserve. If I wanted to right now, I could I could rank up my, my Hell Gladiator again or I can rank up another unit. And I could have, you know, six S6 six rank units. Yeah, it does punish you at this point. Like, I'm... The fact that I scaled back a bit is fucking frustrating. I mean, you guys witnessed my first actual upgrade in, in a minute. Like, that Armored Scorpion, getting that Awakening to 2, that's been my first real CP improvement in, in weeks. Like, you know... Aside from the Rhino, the Rhino was a good one too, uh, getting the Rhino up, but it is it is what it is. I mean, when that six month anniversary comes around, there's not going to be a lot of things I'm going to be able to improve upon, but I am going to, I'm going to put in on it and spend a little bit, but I'm trying to, I don't know, I'm trying to keep it scaled back. Maybe it was unrealistic of me to think I could get a max rank Pizarro with, you know, a couple you know, 80 bucks or maybe 160 bucks or even at this point one copy of it. Which, it sucks when I think about that because it's, I really want the unit but at the same time, I don't want to, I don't know. I, I, I'm just measuring the fun I have. I love this game. I'll keep supporting. I'll keep putting in a little bit here but I'm not going to go balls to the wall when I can play something else for 20 bucks and get 80 hours of enjoyment out of it. I know it's a different game. I know I don't really get a good audience on it like Bloodstained. I have fun with it, playing that, getting my ass kicked. But this is the game that's going to be building up my audience on. This is where, you know, you guys come to see me play the most until we get something else that's more tangible. And I'm realistic in that regard. I, I understand it. it. It does. It does, Vagar. It does. And there's not a whole lot we can do on that. It's, it's just one of those things where I just got to be like, well... It is what it is. I'll put my money in. I'll support the game where I can. I should be a little bit bitter on it, but, well, it, uh, I can't be. I can't be bitter on it. I can't be, you know, I gambled. I like gambling. I mean, let's be honest. I do like gambling here and there. I mean, this isn't Fiesta Chihuahuas, but it will do. And, you know, it's it's what, it's what we're going to keep on doing. We'll, we'll play this game, and if we find something down the road that's a little bit better... I'll still play this game, but to be honest, I don't want to... People are like, oh, you should try this other gotcha. You should try this other game. It's like, well, I'd rather play a game that is less gotcha and has more substance to it. So if that's a pay-to-phone game or if that's something else. Fiesta Chihuahuas, yes, it is a slot machine that that we've we found, me and the wife found. We actually we lost track of a machine because there was a couple where, where we're at. And one of them, like, disappeared. But I was like, let me go check the one in front of P.F. Chang's. And that one was still there. So, that's normally during my birthday, I, I spent a couple of bucks on it. I still need to go do that at some point. Maybe put 20 bucks in the machine and, and fuck around with it. I gamble less in fucking Vegas than I do on this goddamn game on the fucking phone. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, the last time I fucking did Blackjack, I think... I broke even. I brought 500. I left with 500, which is very weird. And, you know, but I'll spend more on these things with no return. I don't even get a fucking buffet at the end of this. And I love buffets. So that, that tells you something. But, you know, that's, unfortunately, that's the situation we've we've gotten ourselves into. And it's it's no not one person's fault. It's not even the company's fault because this is what people are into. This is what people are willing to, to put their time and their, their money into it. And I'll be the first one to admit it, gamers as a whole are not good at boycotting or doing things. Like, you know, you've got people who scream about, oh, this game's going to die. Oh, this game's awful. Don't play this game. Don't do that. And that same motherfucker is still going to play that game, go back to it, 
fucking put money on it and be like, oh, well, yeah, I spent 30 bucks on this pack. Well, yeah, of course you did. But you told your audience that this game is going to die, but you're still spending money on it. We are not good at any sort of stances. Like, very rarely have I seen this community able to take a kind of stance on a unified front and do something. Because it doesn't work. And these companies know that. These companies know that they've got us fucked over a barrel, <laughs> essentially. It's a sad truth. I mean, it's, you know, there's not a goddamn thing we can do about it. We, we could try. The system isn't going to change. The only thing we can do is we have to kind of look at things on, on our level, put some responsibility in our court, and, and try not to get too sucked in. I say that after everything I've put into this game and all the time, and it's like, well... I fucking failed that mission pretty good. What I can tell you here is, if you put 80 bucks into this game, don't expect to get anything out of it. Just don't. I mean, go into it where, you know what, hey, you're going to get a guaranteed S. Well, maybe you'll get the banner. Great. If not, hopefully you get something you can, you can actually use. But if you're like a, a bigger time spender and you're scaling back, you're in my situation, you put 80 bucks in, don't expect anything. Don't, don't expect any upgrades to. You're at a point where you've gotten most of the banner units off the generic, and you're putting 80 bucks in at this point, and you're scaling back. Well, if you get something, fucking great. You know, be like, oh, that's awesome. Otherwise, the, all, all you're going to do is get upset. And, and that happens to me every fucking time. I'm like, oh, you motherfuckers. And it's like, I really want to put another 80 in. And I did that with Dragoir. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put another 80 in. Didn't get anything. I'm going to do it again. I didn't get anything. I fucking stopped. I'm like, you know what? What the fuck am I doing? And it's like, I'm not going to spend $700 to just get a guaranteed unit to fucking compete on a leaderboard that doesn't get me shit except my name up there. Fuck. My name was up there for plenty. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I, I tell, tell you guys this story of how I got sucked into this game it is literally day one. I was rank one on this game. I was, which was surprising to me. Day one, I played this game. I got in early. Dumb luck. I found this game. I played my heart's content, and I, I got rank one. And I was like, holy shit! And this game gripped me at that point. It, it wasn't anything else. It was like, what the fuck? I'm rank one. That's awesome. Well, day two, Jax fucking toppled me. Jax came in. He, he fucking pulled out the big guns beat me silly in terms of, you know, just raw spending power. Because at that point, I wasn't spending a lot. I mean, I put in put in for a couple of things. I don't even th I didn't even do the fucking $30 ore pack that month, which I should have. I still beat myself on, on that at that point. But it is what it is. I did do the battle pass, and I was like, yeah, I stayed top 10 for a while, and then Zoma came out, and that's when I, like, I fucking hit, hit things a little bit harder. I got in there, and, you know, we, we fucking got to be rank one again and and then we scaled it back after afterwards but it's just like one of those things where you know you can easily get sucked into this shit you have to be very careful i mean if i wasn't grounded with my wife i'd still probably be spending on this game in heavy capacity and for what a couple more units the stuff that i don't really need now i know people do need certain units to get stuff cleared up just started listening doesn't doing 30 guarantee you for sorrow so no so so it's actually and i've been fighting for that for a while it's actually uh what well, what's the math here it's it's not 240 dollars it's 720 dollars would net you that dark wing for the guaranteed to get you a pizarro it's 700 and something dollars on the third round yeah 720 fucking dollars. I've been fighting for a while. You'll, you'll notice sometimes, like, I'll, I'll put it up in, in Reddit or I'll put it up in, in a couple other places. And Nib, Nib advocated this too, where it's like, well, why can't that first guaranteed stamp be the banner? Why can't for $240 you get at least one copy of that? It's like, no, not here. So it is what it is in that regard. And that's my biggest gripe with the game. You know, this arena stuff, it sucks. It doesn't affect me too much because, again, I usually get top 50 and I beat my head against the wall. But there's people who like Nib and others who really try hard to get that rank 1 and they fall short because they're losing to a fucking AI. And there's no reason they should be losing to an AI. 
there's there's absolutely no reason that AI should be on on grandmaster level. Like, why the fuck does that need to be in the game? Now, if it's like Biftech said and that there's somebody legitimately using a bot to harvest accounts and sell them off at some point, and that's a flaw in the game, well, that needs to be addressed too. That's that's another set of bananas. That's a little bit harder to deal with than if it's actually the company doing that. At which point, well. The company really needs to to step in and and fucking handle this shit and get things situated. But I'm gonna keep looking for these bots, see if I can run across one of these unicorns where we get to fight one of these guys who's not above board and, and really doing some shady shit and see what happens. But if I can get it on camera, that's that's a victory for me. So I want to bring some awareness to it. Because if they are doing some shady shit, I'm going to find out about it. And we're going to, you know, go over this fight with a fine tooth and comb. We're going to be very meticulous with it when we catch him. And that's all we can do. But for right now, keeping my eye out for Zero. Keeping my eye out for Shady Master account that matches up with the top ten. And yeah, I don't know. I like this game. I mean, there's a lot of content coming down the pipeline. The roadmap seems interesting. The content they bring is very dynamic, and you could even use lower tier units to clear things, which is great. I mean, you could, this game, the pros and, uh, I feel like the pros outweigh the cons. I mean, yeah, there's not really much that a mid-tier spender can gain from this game. There's not really a lot here that somebody who spends, you know, 100, 200 bucks a month is going to get out of this game. Because again, I see a lot of times somebody throws 200 bucks in this game, it goes to the wind, and then they're pissed off and they're done. Whereas sometimes the free-to-play guys, well, they do better than the fucking pay-to-play guys. It just is what it is. Well, hey, I, I got a single pull Pizarro, you know. It's like, fuck, I hate you. <laughs> At the same time, it's like, that needs to be part of the game, though. Because you need to have those people playing. You need to have them in there. And maybe that good luck with Pizarro and other units, that turns them into somewhat of a, a paid player. Because now they need to get more orbs. So they need to use those orbs to get into the game, whereas other people will be like, well, I think all these orbs should be given to you. And I'm like, no, fuck you. You should be paying for these. If you've used some of those orbs up, if you haven't managed your resources properly, you have the option. I guess Kage hates me. I hate everybody. <laughs> I'm going to see you in Arena beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> but, you know, that's, that's just the reality of things. They have to do these things to... To manage them. Would I like to see more paid orbs? Well, personally, no, because I'm not getting any of these new units, so I don't need these orbs, but on, on a more methodical level, on a more overall arcing level, I'd like to see more paid orbs in the game for people so that they can get them. I don't think free orbs is the answer. I definitely think some more paid packs in there to help people out. I'd also like to see some paid packs for maybe some of the resource materials for the rank ups that we don't have access to yet. I'm definitely going to try again. I'm, I know I shouldn't try another 80 bucks at some point, but I am probably next paycheck going to throw another 80 in at Pizarro, give it another 30, 40 tries, and if I get them, great. If I don't, I'm going to be bitching. But, you know, ooh, this is a master here. Let's see. Oh, this one's a weak one, though. He's not the, the master we're looking to fight. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's just the way we stand with this game. Oh, fuck, though. I mean... This arena thing, though, this arena stuff, we're going to, I'm going to get to the bottom of this at some point. I, I don't know if it's going to be myself or it's going to be somebody else, but if you do manage to fight one of those top guys and you get in there, fucking record it. Please, please get this recorded for us because we really need to see what the hell is going on here. We really need to get a grip on what, what the situation is with this. If there is some cheating going on, if there is something shady. I really want to see what's what's going on. I really wish I had more copies of True Lord Dragon Form, because you work well with this Halberd Source. Oof, he's stunned. Not good. Not good. Get in there and clean him up, Pizarro. Oh, wait, I don't have Pizarro. Get in there and clean him up, Zoma. Still got you. That's done. And then clean him up, and that's game. Oh, and I am waiting for food to get here because I am extremely hungry. I am super fucking hungry right now. 
My wife was like, I'll go get food. You can keep streaming. I'm like, oh, that's nice of you, hun. You know, I'm like, that means she gets to eat the chicken first. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> All right. Oh, this guy's name is MasterCard, but he's not a MasterCard because he doesn't have a Max Awaken WK. He's more like a Discover card. Ooh, this guy. Could he be the one? That master matches more in line. Could he be one of the ones up there in the top? Let's look at the rankings. So he's got WK. Now that one had a different unit. Let's, let's see if he's any of the masters in the top ranking. Is it this one? No, I just clicked on that one like a dumbass. Oh, let's keep looking. Let's see, is there any other masters in the top? No, it's not that one either. His player name is Fuck Aiming. I mean, that's how some people are going to feel after the, if this arena thing actually turns out to be pretty, pretty fucked. Just too many people named Master. Just, well, let's fight him anyway and let's see what happens. Fuck Aiming. What about the Master with the DQ1 icon? Mmm. That one's interesting too. I don't know. It's very, it's very weird. It's like there's just no rhyme or reason to some of these guys. Uh, should I think for this fight or just going balls to the wall? Yeah, uh, let's just auto it out. Let's see what happens. I'm not even trying. Wait a second. His WK goes first? Why does his WK go first? How much agility does that have? Three ninety-four agility. Three ninety-four agility. He's got the same okay, so they both That's an interesting stat on him. But this looks like a real play well that looks more like a real player. That's very interesting. That's my wife back with the food, at least. Oof. You're in some real trouble. Okay, hopefully my Burrell gets to go first this time. Nope, he's gonna get fucked here. Yep, he got fucked. That's okay. He got side cannoned. That is definitely a strategy. No. Source is coming up. 397. That is true. You can manipulate turn order. Hmm. I feel like I should try doing that. Someone puts really hard to do. Alright, sounds like my food is here, guys. So I'm going to get off here in a minute. We're going to check one more shuffle to see if we can find one of those fucking top rankers who has the really janky teams and go against them. But other than that, I'm going to get off here get something to eat. Thank you guys for all joining. If you haven't, please, please be sure to follow, and then I'll have this up on Twitter at some point, even though we kind of fucked up the uh, polls for some of these. Yeah, I'm not seeing anybody here. All right. We'll have my fails on Arena. I'm going to go ahead and pop off here. I Well, we'll see. I mean, I've lucked out on a lot of units, so after Drag War not coming through, it sucks, but here's the reality of it. I would realistically need to get six copies of that unit to make some decent use of it. I mean, if I get it just for a collector's stance because I like the unit, that'd be great, but I'd need six fucking copies of it. So, I don't want to pay for six copies, <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, I'm in a bad situation. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining. Thank you for everybody who followed today. I'll have this video back up on YouTube in a few, and potentially we'll be back at some point, sometime within the week, and we'll do a call-in in regards to the arena, see if anybody's found these guys with their, their impact in with it and we'll go from there and you guys all have a great evening I will see you later I'm gonna go eat I'm fucking starving take it easy